How are you? I'm well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here today. Well, thank you so, so much for being here. I know we were trying to get you here a while ago, and you're such a busy lady because you have this project. But before we start talking about your CD, because you're working on a CD, I'd just like to get just a little bit of information about yourself. Now, you're not a native here of Los Angeles, California, are you? No, I'm not. Well, where do you originate from? I am from uh, my native Taunton, Massachusetts, and everyone back home today is listening, so that's great. Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone back home in Taunton, Massachusetts. <laughs> and um, I was born and raised. I went to high school in Taunton. I graduated from Emanuel College in Boston. And I moved to Los Angeles six years ago in 2004 to um, pursue songwriting. And that's why I came to Hollywood, California. And you've been very successful. Now, I know that you have a CD that you're working on. And we're here to talk about that CD. Tell us a little bit about Bruised. Now, I know often that there's stories behind CDs, but you have more or less like a testimonial behind yours. I do. Um, Bruised was written on January 9th, 2008. And um, I always say that uh, silent strength is a strength that makes someone a leader. So I wrote this song silently and I privately produced it. Um, this song came from a place of fear and pain. It is regarding domestic violence, and I felt as though there aren't um, a lot of songs that are dealing with the specific issue of, of being bruised. I feel that it's a social stigma in today's society, and I really wanted to address this topic because I have been a victim of domestic violence. And um, the duality of being fearful and having um, embarrassment is something that is coupled with you not wanting to come out, you feeling shameful. And um, I come from a very dignified Cape Verdean family, very strong Cape Verdean culture, and I felt as though if I told someone that I, that no one would believe me. And so I stayed silent for 11 years, and it allowed me to write this song, which I'm so proud to debut today at KCLA-FM and it's called Bruised, and I produced it with Rod Castro, and so this is the debut single off of Misguided Dignity, and today is really the first day in which I've talked about being a victim, so I am um, very proud that I can uh, be a face to someone's story. I know when I was growing up, there weren't many faces of domestic violence that I knew about, so I feel that I am ready to take the lead on the subject matter. I am ready to um, capitalize on being um, a leader and really bringing this issue to the forefront. Domestic violence is the third leading effect among women 15 to 44 in America. It's the third leading cause behind breast cancer and heart disease. So we have a lot of work to do and um, I want to be involved and I want to be a very big part of that. God bless your heart. Let me tell you, um, when I first heard the CD, well when I first, okay, when you first performed at the warehouse, you did a few different songs, and I was just like, just so impressed because you're just like all over the map. Thank you. You're not just, sometimes artists will get locked into one type of music, but you just did a little bit of everything, plus you're a musician. And with Bruce, once I got your CD and I listened to it, I mean, I played it over and over and over, and I've never said this before because I just, didn't but and I guess maybe in a way or maybe so I too was a victim of domestic violence and this is the first time that I've ever ever said it publicly I mean my family knew but um, fortunately you know I got out early enough but I just never I just like you said before you know I felt ashamed it was something that I didn't want to talk about I um, was in a marriage and I got out of the marriage very, very early because of the signs that were going, you know, happening. Sure. And I thank God for that. So when I got the CD and I was listening, I was like, wow. And then on the inside of the cover, I love it. It says, Bruce is dedicated to all of the women around the world who are affected by domestic violence. So after that, how could I not say something and have you here in the studio? To those who stay silent, I hear your voice. 
To those who are beaten, I feel your pain. To those who have never gotten the chance to get out, I feel your confliction. And to those who have gone before me, your angel wings are upon me. We are bruised and we won't take it no more. If you are loved, one is affected by domestic violence, please go to www.domesticviolence.org or call National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-SAFE or for the hearing impaired, 1-800-787-3224. Always Kristen Commodore. That is beautiful. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm, I want to thank you for sharing your story with me. I know how difficult it can be, especially um, we run households. We are uh, educated women. We have jobs in corporate America. So the shame that comes with that, I I fully understand that. So I just want to thank you. I, I'm, I'm honored that you were able to tell your story today in front of me. And I'm sitting here trying not to get emotional because I just... I just hadn't talked about it, but like I said, when I heard your CD, I was like, oh, wow. And um, I think what you're doing is an awesome thing. And it's the first, now you're working on your CD. I am. And this one is going to be the first release of the CD. Correct. Tell us about this CD. Let's lighten this up a little bit because I don't want to show my ugly face, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, this CD is probably everything I could ever imagine and more.